Job interview practice learn English with real conversations. Hi Annabelle. It's been a while. How have you been? Hi George. I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm good, thanks. So, what do you do these days? What is your job? I work as a teacher. I teach English at a high school. What about you, George? What is your job? I'm an engineer. I work for a construction company. We build roads and bridges. That sounds interesting. Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I do. It can be difficult sometimes, but I like solving problems. What about you? Do you like teaching? Yes, I really enjoy it. I love working with students and helping them learn English. Where do you work, George? I work in the city center. My office is near the main train station. Where do you work? I work at a school in the suburbs. It's a bit far from my house, but I like the school. That's great! How long have you been a teacher? I've been teaching for five years. How long have you worked as an engineer? I've been an engineer for about seven years now. Time flies. It really does. Do you travel a lot for your job? Yes, sometimes. We have projects in different cities, so I travel about once a month. Do you travel for your job? Not much. I usually stay at the school, but sometimes we go on school trips with the students. That must be fun. It was really nice catching up with you, Annabelle. You too, George. Let's stay in touch. Learn English, simple prepositions of place with examples. Where is the cat? The cat is on the table. Where is the book? The book is under the chair. Where is the clock? The clock is above the door. Where is the pen? The pen is in the bag. Where is the car? The car is next to the house. Where is the dog? The dog is in front of the sofa. Where is Paul? Paul is behind the door. Where is Nancy? Nancy is between the two cars. Where are the shoes? The shoes are under the bed. Where is the lamp? The lamp is on the desk. Where is the painting? The painting is on the wall. Where is the remote? The remote is beside the TV. Where is the laptop? The laptop is on the table. Where is the vase? The vase is on the shelf. Where is the cat's toy? The cat's toy is under the couch. Where is the coffee cup? The coffee cup is on the counter. Where is the mirror? The mirror is above the sink. Where is the chair? The chair is next to the table. Where is the backpack? The backpack is behind the chair. Where is the notebook? The notebook is in the drawer.
Excuse me, do you know where I can find the pasta aisle? Oh, sure. It's just down the second aisle on your right. You can't miss it. Thank you so much. By the way, my name is Susan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Susan. I'm Robert. Are you new in town? Yes, I just moved here last week. I'm still trying to find my way around. Well, welcome. If you need any recommendations or help, feel free to ask. That's very kind of you. Actually, do you have any suggestions for a good coffee shop in the area? Absolutely. There's a lovely cafe called Bean Haven a few blocks from here. They serve delicious coffee and pastries. Fantastic. I'll make sure to check it out. Say, are you a coffee lover? Definitely. I can't start my day without a good cup of coffee. What about you? Same here. It's like a ritual for me. Maybe we could grab a cup together sometime. That sounds wonderful. I'd love to. Here's my number. Feel free to text me, and we can arrange a time. Thank you, Robert. I'll definitely be in touch. By the way, do you enjoy cooking? Yes, I do. I find it quite relaxing. How about you? Well, I'm not much of a cook myself, but I love to learn. Maybe you could teach me a few recipes? That sounds like fun. I'm always happy to share my cooking skills. We could plan a cooking night at my place. That's a fantastic idea. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, look, there's the pasta aisle. Thanks again for your help, Robert. You're welcome, Susan. It was great meeting you. Don't forget to message me about that coffee. I won't. Have a wonderful day, Robert. You too, Susan. Take care. Easy English Conversation, Cooking Recipe Chat Hi, Annabelle. How are you today? Hi, George. I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm doing well. I was thinking about trying a new recipe today. Do you like cooking? Yes, I love cooking. What recipe are you thinking of? I want to make a simple pasta dish. Do you have any good recipes for pasta? Yes, I do. How about we make spaghetti with tomato sauce? That sounds perfect. What ingredients do we need? We need spaghetti, tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, basil, salt, and pepper. Great! I have all those ingredients. What's the first step? First, we need to boil the spaghetti. Fill a large pot with water and add a little salt. Okay, I'll do that. How long should I boil the spaghetti? Boil it for about 8 to 10 minutes, or until it's al dente. Meanwhile, let's make the sauce. Sounds good. How do we make the sauce? Heat some olive oil in a pan. Then add chopped garlic and saute until it's golden brown. I love the smell of garlic cooking. What's next? Next, add the chopped tomatoes. Cook them until they are soft and form a sauce. Should I add any spices? Yes, add some salt, pepper, and a few basil leaves for flavor. This is starting to smell really good. How long do we cook the sauce? 
Let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. By then, the spaghetti should be ready. The spaghetti is done. Should I drain it? Yes, drain the spaghetti and then add it to the sauce. Mix everything well. Wow, this looks delicious. Anything else we need to do? No, that's it. Just serve it on a plate and enjoy your meal. Thank you so much for the recipe, Annabelle. I can't wait to try it. You're welcome, George. Enjoy your cooking. I will. Have a great day. You too, George.